Hello everyone and welcome to a review that is a long time coming but better late than never, right? I have finally got my review on the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. This came out a while ago, maybe was it kind of in like November of last year? So maybe like four months ago, three, four months ago. And I bought it and then there were other palettes and then I got sick and then and then and then and then. But I really wanted to review this for you guys uh, for many reasons and I pulled you all on Twitter. So if you don't follow me, you should follow me on Twitter because I do polls a lot asking if you want me to or not review a product and it was pretty split, it was pretty close to 50-50, but the majority ended up saying yes you want a review on this even though it's like old news. So yay, I get to do my review guilt free. <laughs> I was slightly scared to test out this palette only because I didn't have good luck with the eyeshadow palette that I purchased for my full face of first impressions from BH Cosmetics. But I had high hopes because I know tons of people love BH Cosmetic eyeshadows. So I was like, well, maybe it was just that one palette that I bought. So I got this one with my hopes high. And you guys, I am so happy. This palette does have drawbacks, but overall, this thing is amazing, 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 amazing. And not just because, I mean, just... Ugh. I love this palette. <laughs> I do love astrology and everything. It's always been something that I've found really interesting. Is it perfect and like spot on? No, but I do think it's insightful and I don't I just like it. I find it very interesting for anyone who's gonna ask. I am a Gemini. But yeah, the palette is just a little bit under $22. It's $21.99, so super affordable. Nice and big, but still nice and slim. It's just a cardboard package and you can like kind of break the back part of it which I did just so that I can hold it better. It does have a mirror which of course I you guys know me I appreciate that and then it has got 25 different shadows and highlight shades in here and I mean just look isn't that beautiful look at even my cat is like hey let me get a peek of that so it's got everything laid out in astrological order here and it's got like the baked shimmer metallic shadows on the outside then it's got a ring of kind of corresponding matte shadows on the inside and then a big highlighter pan in the very middle I don't really know what BH Cosmetics reasoning was behind the colors between all of these different signs I personally would have done different colors for each one, like Aries, turquoise, I would have done something very fiery, very like a passionate burning red orange or something, and like Pisces would have been more of like a dreamy, washy, watery kind of a dreamer duochrome -ish. I mean, this is, it's all silly, but I, I personally don't really see the correspondence between the shades in terms of the sign that it's paired with, but the way that they laid this out is so nice and so user-friendly. You can definitely just do pairings, which I did, and so you can see here on the screen, but where you just use the one matte shade that is right next to the shimmer baked shade. So really easy, just pop the matte shade, you know, in the crease and on the outside part of the eye, and then you can put the shimmer shade all over the lid, and then also you can play around with just like everything, you know, it complements each other. So if you want to like deepen something up you can go in with Gemini you can use the matte purple shade there but then if you want to deep it up you can go right next door I mean you could go either to Cancer or Taurus but you know I personally would go to like Taurus if I really wanted to smoke things out and use that deep plum color and it'll complement the nice purpley grape of Gemini or similarly you know with Virgo popping right next door to Leo Virgo being a nice like pinky mauve color and then Leo being a nice deep plum it just all really nicely goes together which I love and obviously you know you can go not right next door you can definitely mix and match things and things go so beautifully together I love that there is a wonderful assortment of colors in here you've got blues you've got purples you've got greens and golds and browns and oh I just love everything about this palette it is super versatile you can go super smoky you can go super light super daytime super nighttime whatever you want the shadows are beautifully pigmented just mm, they are rich and wonder like these matte shades it's crazy because they're super powdery and like there's tons of kickback so you do have to be very careful and just make sure that you're tapping off your brush very well before going on your eyes or else you're gonna have a ton of fallout but 
once you're putting it on your eyes, the mattes are so pigmented and creamy and blendy. Like, some of the nicer matte shades that I've ever tried and the ones that really shocked me are the purples. These light purples and even like the deeper purples. I feel like a lot of eyeshadow companies, especially like cheaper ones, you know, I'm thinking more like drugstore range and whatnot, they have a lot of trouble, even higher end, coming up with lighter purple shades and deeper purple matte shades that are actually like blendable and creamy and pigmented like all at the same time. These are so insane. These are ins like I was shocked the first time I put these on my lids. I was not expecting that much color payoff and just overall so 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 happy. The price per gram on this palette is awesome. You know you get 30 grams of product so I mean it is a nice hefty palette and it comes out to about 73 cents a gram so a little bit more expensive than like Morphe but definitely less expensive than your higher end shadows by a long shot. I just think the value is great. The quality is wonderful. With the shimmer baked shades you do have to love glitter and shine because I mean like the highlight is definitely I mean it can look subtle I feel like on camera and whatnot but in real life there's definitely like a glitter I mean it's obvious that you're wearing highlight when you're wearing this highlighter it's beautiful you just have to be into that look you know if you're looking for something subtle and like a lit from within glow this is not for you this is for someone who likes playing with color and glitter and shine and all of that and then the baked shades and stuff, I find that I really have to use, I mean, I can just use my normal primer and it's fine, but there will be glitter fallout underneath my eyes throughout the day. But thankfully, you know, if you use like an actual glitter primer or something, that will grab on and then you won't have that problem. I find that these shadows wear wonderfully throughout the day. There's definitely a little bit of fading throughout, you know, at the end of the day, they're not quite as vibrant as they were when first applied. But overall, I still think they look lovely at the end of the day. They wear really, really nicely. They apply beautifully. I just, <sighs> I could gush about this palette for a long time. It's really, really pretty. And some of these shades are just like, they're the kind of shades where I just want to bathe in these colors. Like the Aquarius baked shade, shut up, shut up and get on my body so pretty. Same with like Cancer, Aries is really pretty. I mean, they're all just, mm, they're luscious and I love them. This is a gorgeous palette. I would highly recommend it to anybody who might have been on the fence or doesn't already own this and is looking for something super versatile and that will spice up their eyeshadow palette collection. Because I do, I think this is pretty unique, you know, in the shade selection and everything. And I just think it was laid out really nicely. Oh, I just love it. So, Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys want to see swatches here, so I'm gonna dive on into that. There'll be one little tutorial thing for you guys to see, and then I will just see you at the very end. So, enjoy.
everyone. Gonna go in for my tutorial here for this palette. We're gonna do something fairly simple, you know, you can wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, but still keep some, something pretty, at least that's what I'm hoping. So to start off, I'm gonna go in with the matte shade next to Virgo here on a fluffy blending brush, making sure to tap off any excess. And I'm just gonna be placing this in the crease, kind of concentrating most of it on the outside portion and then dragging any excess in towards the centers here. Then just to deepen that up, I'm gonna use the same brush and just go right next door to the matte shade from Leo. Very lightly adding that onto the brush and then putting this on the outer portion, a little bit on the lid, a little bit on the crease, just kind of in a circular shape almost, and then just dragging whatever excess you have into the crease and very lightly into like the middle part of the crease. I'm not going all the way, just that little, little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger, get into Leo here just lightly. Then on a different finger, going into Libra, the shimmery shade there. So we've got our two fingers ready here. And I'm gonna dab the lighter pink shade onto the inner half of the lid. And then the darker shade on the outer half of the lid. Easy peasy, right? And then I'm just gonna take a shader brush here and go into Leo again, just really lightly, and then I'm gonna use that to very softly blend the two shades together. So I'm gonna start off by going over the inner part of the lid just to get most of that pigment down there. And then with whatever pigment you have left, just softly blend that in to the outer portion of the lid. And then just using a pointed pencil brush here just so that it's not purple, you know what I mean? We're gonna go in with the matte shade from Libra and then I'm gonna place this into the crease. Again, this is just kind of, I mean, not only to add definition, but also just to add a bit more dimensions so that it's not all just one big note of purple. angled liner brush into Aries here, the matte black shade. That on my lower lash line, just smudging that in pretty closely. Then I'm gonna go into Cancer, the shimmery shade, on a small tapered fluffy brush and just smush that out. me, gotta do my inner corner highlight, so I'm just gonna go into Gemini, the silver shade, and just dab this into the inner corners. And here you have it, here is the completed look here. I just went ahead and put some black liner in my waterline and put on mascara, and that's, that's it, you know? I think it's a really pretty look. I like the way that it came out. Purple, smoky, I think it looks really nice. <laughs> So there you go, you guys. There is my full review, finally, on the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Eyeshadow Palette. I'm sorry it took me so long, like I said, but I do think better late than never, especially with this palette, because this is a really good one. I thoroughly enjoy this palette. I'm going to be very sad putting this away because I've had a lot of fun coming up with different looks with this and it's pushed me out of my comfort zone with some of my eyeshadow looks and I just think it's gorgeous. And of course I love the nod to astrology because I... I love astrology, so that is it, you guys. I think that's gonna do it for this review here. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful in all of that. If you did, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, 
Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!